We'll go ahead and um, vote on the item here. Are there any objections? Okay, I see no objections. That motion carries unanimously. New at 3.30, Lee County Commissioners give the green light to expand the Emergency Operations Center on Ortiz Avenue. The project, valued at nearly $29 million, will be overseen by Manhattan Construction Company. Hello again, I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. Now, the original facility was built in 2013, but the need for a more resilient structure has only become more apparent. Twink News investigative reporter Kelly Miller joins us live now. And Kelly, how is this project being funded? Well, Nicole, a combination of federal dollars and state appropriation funds as well. And as you noted, Nicole, this building is only about 10 years old, but our Lee County commissioners agree this is a wise idea. The ultimate goal to better withstand our persistent weather challenges. The need is certainly there and uh, obviously weather conditions are not going to change in Florida probably in our lifetime, so I think it's well, well used. The $29 million will be used to add a two-story, 26,000 square foot addition to the existing center. The first floor will house public safety administration and emergency medical services. The second floor will become home to an advanced emergency communication center. The facility will also have modern technology, dozens of restrooms and showers, sleeping accommodations, and a training facility. Most importantly, it will meet storm shelter standards, ensuring its self-sufficiency for up to seven days in case of an emergency. Now, work on this project is set to begin in November, and the goal is to have everything complete within 19 months. For now, back to you.